Hello and welcome to another sketch series episode. Today I'm going to be drawing and coloring the Martian Manhunter. One of my favorite underrated heroes of all time, the Martian Manhunter. He gets a bad rap. He's almost as powerful as Superman, has telekinetic abilities, a bunch of other cool stuff, and no one ever remembers him or thinks about him at all. Let's get started. As you can see here, I'm going to start off with my pencil sketch. Pretty straightforward stuff. I spent a little bit more time on it than usual because I did it during a free period at my school and I didn't have any paperwork to do so I just decided to draw this. And uh, I didn't have any pens with me so it was just a pencil sketch. As you can see, um, it's really tough for me to try to record and draw because showing what I'm doing is much more difficult than it would appear so just by virtue of the fact that I'm left-handed so as I draw I tend to cover the drawing so if you notice that I tend to leave some open spaces it's just so you can see uh, what I'm doing I tend to take a break take a look at it see what's happening and then go back and keep working on it now uh, while I'm working on it it's kinda tough to try to move my hand out of the way so that you can see it. I'll, I don't know if there's some other angle I could try this with, but you know, for now, this is the best that I can do until I get another setup or I get a digital, you know, a digital pad, and then I can show you while I'm doing this uh, from scratch. Now, uh, I went really loose with the sketch, and that is no more apparent than here in this little gem. Normally, the Martian Manhunter has this little. Um, I guess pendant or something in the front and it kind of just has these spokes coming out. It's purple and red and it has spokes but as you can see I did a terrible job making sure the spokes are all even so they all look lopsided and ugly. Super ugly. Disgustingly ugly. So I try not to pay too much attention to it and just keep going with my drawing. As you can see everything is extremely loose. I spent the most amount of time on the face just making sure that it looks proportional, that it looks like the Martian Manhunter, and it looks like it has attitude and presence. And then kind of just schlop together everything else uh, to make sure that it makes sense, that nothing, you know, there's no clothing leading down to nothing, and uh, just kind of go from there. Um, usually, I, I really, the thing with the Martian Manhunter is I have a love-hate relationship with him. I think he's a cool character, very underrated character, but I also think that I haven't seen anyone get it right. I'm, I'm still waiting for someone to get the costume right, or get the, get the cape right, or get the color pattern right. I've either seen the Alex Ross version, which is the blue cape with, you know, the red, I don't know what you would call that, um, stripper. Uh, a rags or or, or 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 tears and then the pendant it, it's just it, does, it looks weird or I've seen the other version which is the black and purple and blue and red and yellow and that's a lot of colors that's a lot of busyness and I if you know me anything from from watching any of the videos you know that I like simplicity I like to use the least amount of colors possible because I feel it keeps the drawing clean, it keeps this, the idea simple, and the more streamlined and simple the color and everything is, the easier time you'll have conveying it to people as an iconic hero. Think of something like uh, Big Hero 6, for example. The main star of that one was Baymax, and Baymax's colors are white. He just has one color. Um, look at Despicable Me. The minions have blue and yellow and just two colors. Think about the Incredibles, red and black and yellow, three colors. Superman has red, blue, and yellow, three colors. The Flash has red and yellow, two colors. Batman, gray and blue, or gray and black, depending on what you read, but always ever two colors, sometimes three if they throw in a yellow utility belt. You kind of see where I'm going with this. The, the most iconic heroes, the most iconic movie pieces that you've ever thought about, usually only come down to one or two colors. And we can keep going. It doesn't just apply to comics. Think about um, Frozen. Elsa is, is blonde, and she has a blue dress. The end. Anna is far less memorable than Elsa, and her dress is multicolored and all kinds of things. Think about, um, I forgot the, the one from Brave, but she has a green dress, and she has red hair, 
so those are the two colors that stand out or tangled she wears like a purplish pink dress and she has blonde hair and and you can kind of go through almost any movie and pick out specific things this is why a lot of times in cartoons especially on tv the cartoon characters always wear the same thing bubbles uh buttercup and um oh my god i'm missing the third one blossom they all have unique color patterns but they always wear even when they change into other clothing it, they always stick with their color palette they don't cross over into anybody else's this is to distinguish the character and give it a unique look a unique personality and really cement it as an iconic vision of those characters so i love blue and green i think just like this if i were to have paused there that would have been a pretty cool drawing right there um, but of course i have to fill in the eyes and the eyes glow red and the pendant is red and purple and it's just I, I i mean i'm reading the new comic book it's it's cool but i'm still not convinced by the 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 design in the costume i, I feel like it's uninspired there haven't really been changes since martian manhunter has come out he's almost always worn the same thing and I don't understand why. If Superman can tuck his underwear in, I'm pretty sure Martian Manhunter can learn to wear something else. And I've I've spent I, I have sketchbooks where you could see pages and pages of of design ideas for the Martian Manhunter. Like, oh, what would I do differently? I've gone through you know having him wear a purple vest and purple pants, and then no cape and just purple and red, and he's green. And I feel like. That's a cool color palette. I also like a blue cape, but what's the point of a cape? I, I don't, you know, it's it's just, to me, this bothers me because I love drawing him. I think he's really fun to draw. I love the amorphous ability that he has to bend and shape shift and so many cool things can be done. But at the same time, every time I sit down to draw him, I have to think, what color palette am I going to use? Do I have a hundred million colors to try to color him correctly? And am I going to like it once it's all colored in? And usually the answer is, I love the way the drawing, the, the line art is, but I hate the colors that I have chosen. That being said, I feel like the two greens that I use for his face are brilliant. They work well together, and they contrast the red perfectly on his face. So it really makes it feel like dark and light shadow and light bouncing around. It, it's just great. And then eventually I'm going to add in a third green onto his face, a little bit darker as for some darker underlay shadow and some um, obscuring shadow. For example, where the chin covers part of the neck or the nose or the eyebrows cover part of the eyes, that kind of stuff. But coming in here with this light blue, you can see right away where my problem lies in that there's no, I, I have no idea how to make his colors look good. I mean, I've watched videos, I've, I've seen him on, on different TV shows, different cartoons, and he never looks super cool. He always just kind of looks like he doesn't know what color he wants to wear. I think that's why a part of the reason why he's not as iconic. You think of someone like um, Robin, and he he has a lot of colors too, but two of them stand out, and that's usually red and green, or red and black, depending on which Robin you watch. Um, same thing with Beast Boy, black and 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 green, or or purple and green. I don't know. But Martian Manhunter, just so many colors, and they're all very prominent on him. They all kind of stand out, which means that none of it stands out. And it kind of, I feel like that's a design choice that has permanently put him aside as a B-rate character in our minds, despite the fact that I love this guy, and I think he's criminally underused and underrated. Um, the fact that he's not getting a movie, but Shazam is, should say a lot, because Shazam is not as big of a character but sadly he has a cool color palette red and white simple as that i don't know this video was mostly just an exploration on how to design cool characters and keep colors simple but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me draw this guy let's take a look at the final product there it is i did some color correction to make sure i got it and i went over it with the purple to cover kind of the blue there so kind of like it a little bit more but eh thanks for watching the video if you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.